we are able to understand the world because it is somewhat predictable. When I drop this ball today or tomorrow from the same height, we know it will hit the ground at the same speed. But how are we so sure about it? You can say that it's due to the law of conservation of energy. When you drop the ball, it accelerates, losing potential energy and gaining kinetic energy. But the total amount of energy doesn't change. Energy only transforms, hence energy is conserved. Conservation laws are something that we encounter a lot in physics. You may have heard of the conservation of energy, momentum, charge, and so on. So obviously it's called a law, so it must be true, right? Yes, but what we're interested in is to know what makes it a law in the first place. Well, it turns out that these conservation laws originate from a much fundamental principle called symmetries. And the beautiful theorem that connects those two is what we call the Notice Theorem. So, what are symmetries? We say a butterfly is symmetric under mirror reflection and a snowflake is symmetric under 60 degree rotation. These are discrete symmetries in which one appears the same after a change by specific amount. But in Notice Theorem, we are talking about continuous symmetries. For example, a sphere is continuously symmetrical under any amount of rotation. These continuous symmetries are highly mathematical. It deals with equations describing the laws of physics. For instance, we have an equation of y equals x squared. Even if you replace x with minus x, the equation stays the same. To put it graphically, even if you flip the equation about the y-axis, the graph looks the same. So we can say that the equation y equals x squared is symmetric under flipping left and right. And this brings us to the notice theorem, that every continuous symmetry in a system implies a conservation law. Energy conservation comes from translation symmetry in time. Assuming no other external forces are involved, no matter when you perform an experiment, it plays out the same way. Similarly, conservation of linear momentum comes from translation symmetry in space. You can be here or here, anywhere in space, and the result is the same. And conservation of angular momentum, a property that allows a skater to spin faster as she pulls her arms in, derives from space rotational symmetry. The idea that laws of physics stay the same no matter in which direction we spin. And these are just a few of many. So what we initially believed to be an obvious fact in physics, which in this case the conservation laws, turns out that it has an underlying source of symmetries. Notice theorem is a fundamental idea in understanding our universe. It opens up to new possibilities from searching for new particles to learning more about black holes. The world is full of obvious things which nobody by any chance ever observes. If only we can look closely into these things, who knows what amazing things we'll find next.